Your Grace, welcome to my home. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely it's to wonderful. see you here. How are you keeping? Uh, very well. We've got a lot to think about. Well, we have all got a lot to think about. But in terms of the Jewish community, you've gone through in the last few months a very demanding, stressful time in some ways. Over the last few years, I think, with the increase in uh, anti-Jewish attacks uh, across the country uh, on synagogues, on cemeteries, on individuals, and the, tr the unspeakable trolling through social media. Yeah. Coming into this new year, we are where we were a year ago, but actually in a worse position. Because a year ago, we had our aspirations, our hopes, our prayers, and we've seen that matters unfortunately haven't moved forward, if anything. They have deteriorated. And ever since the Holocaust, we never thought for one moment we would again need to defend our Jewishness, our identity, our existence. It is, to us, unbelievable what is actually happening now. We are absolutely determined to ensure that there will be a stop to the scourge of anti-Semitism. Across all institutions in this country, there should be a zero tolerance. We want to have a great, wonderful and happy future in the country that we love. We're Jewish and British, we're British and we're Jewish. Mm. And I'm proud of the strength that we're showing right now. Far too much comment is laced with hatred. Yes. And we're seeing that, unfortunately, so many irresponsible world leaders are allowing this to take place. Some even encouraging it. And where you have poisonous comments laced with hatred, you can be guaranteed that hatred of the Jew will be coming very quickly. I think that is absolutely right. Um, one of the thing is that our community in this country is essentially a collection of um, larger or smaller groups, most of which are minorities. And therefore, anything that permits attacks on one minority group yeah. is a threat to the entire structure of the nation. Absolutely. Because you, you, once you attack one group, why not attack yeah. every other group? Yeah. So what we found particularly upsetting has been the fact that after three years of inaction, during which we've waited for the Labour Party to show they are actually serious about tackling anti-Semitism, now we found during the past summer they haven't even known where the starting blocks are. How do you define it? Personally, I'm very pleased that uh, the Parliamentary Labour Party has accepted IHRA without any riders or caveats of any kind at all. I think that's excellent news. Of course, I like the image of starting blocks. Um, listening to you, I, I find it hugely distressing and depressing that in the 21st century that any community, especially the Jewish community, given the history of Europe and of the last two or three generations, should have a deep sense of insecurity. I think that is appalling and what that says to me is that the leaders in our nation uh, must be very clear on uh, giving security to the Jewish community in this in this country and that steps like IHRA are the beginning of a long journey mm. and I think the extent of that journey has been reinforced to me listening to you in this conversation it's a long journey uh, and it must be pursued determinedly it's not a stroll it's a march and I think with regard to Israel the whole situation in the Middle East. Absolutely, an argument for the sake of heaven. Let's discuss the situation. You'll find many people agreeing with the policies of, of the government, some who are not. That's absolutely fine. And IHRA does not preclude that. Right. And there is no hint of that whatsoever. It's when you start engaging in arguments through which you want to prove that this is a racist endeavor, to, <laughs> the Jews have no right to their own homeland. Mm. That is pure anti-Semitism. My feelings is we, uh, as a church, uh, need to adopt IHRA formally. I'm 
distress that it should be necessary, but I think it is necessary. Yeah. And I think we need to keep speaking out on that and to be clear about that. We also need to keep thinking about what you just said, that the the British, Jewish, Jewish, British community is as much British as anyone else, certainly as much British as I am. Mm. I mean, there's no difference. It's not a foreign community within the United Kingdom. It's a British community among our many communities. And that we can get that we are able to be really honest about our differences, and but in a context of profound affection, so that the words are heard in the way they mean that they are for the sake of heaven. Yeah. And I think that, I want to say how unqualifiedly we, we <coughs> feel that. And, and as the new year, as you come to your new year, um, I think we'd want... I'd want to wish the Jewish community in all its different parts, because you say you, (laughs) rather like us, you're quite good at disagreeing, (laughs) but in all its parts, to wish you a a wonderful new year, to wish you especially, and this will be our prayer, an increase in your sense of security and peace and assurance uh, of your future, uh, and uh, for it to be a year of sweetness. Thank you so much. And uh, before I forget to say it, Shana Tova. Ah, thank you so much. That's uh, beautifully said and, uh, <laughs> and, and much appreciated. You know, the full version of that is Shana Tova Umetuka, a happy and a sweet year. I like the sweet year. We, we, we.